welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some GCSE tips of starting GCSE years. Like so say if you're starting in year 9, year 10, all of that. So I'm going to give you guys some tips and things that I wish I knew at the beginning of starting GCSE. So um, I like watching some of these videos. Um, I didn't actually watch some of these when I actually started my GCSEs. So... Um, if you're watching them now then good on you because I didn't watch hardly any of these and that is why starting GCSEs was really hard for me uh, but yeah so if you're watching these sort of videos go and watch loads of them because there's so many more that are better than mine as well so make sure you go and watch those as well so I thought I'd just give you guys some of my tips and things that I think will be useful for you guys to know about starting GCSEs and things like that I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe do all that lovely stuff. Today um, is the 19th of August, so today the giveaway, well, the day you're watching this, the giveaway would have ended. Um, however, I'm actually filming this video a couple of weeks before that, so the giveaway for me has not actually ended yet, but it will for you guys watching this video. Um, so make sure if you're watching this video now to quickly go and check on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, um, the link in the giveaway. A link of like the giveaway description to go and find out who the winner was uh, well done to them I mean I'm saying well done for the future because I'm filming this a couple of weeks before um, but yes yeah, so I hope you guys do enjoy the video make sure to go and check out all my other videos study related or not just go and check them all out thank you guys and let's just get started 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 so the first thing I want to talk about is choosing subjects you enjoy because if you choose subjects at the start of your GCSEs that you do not enjoy, you will not have any fun doing GCSE years. Coming to revision and exams, you will just hate it, honestly. So my subjects, as you will all know, they are actually behind me up here, um, but uh, you probably won't be able to see them. So my subjects in which I am doing is history, drama, music, photography, maths, English, well, both Englishes and sciences. Um, yeah, they're my subjects. I actually enjoy uh, all the subjects I chose, which is a good thing. And I made sure that I chose my uh, favourite subjects, the ones that I know that I'm good at and I also enjoy. Because if you pick ones that you're really good at and you don't enjoy them, then there's just no point because you're just not going to, like, benefit from that GCSE if you're not going to be doing it in your later life. But yeah, so basically just choose subjects that you enjoy um, because then you'll have a good time. Something that I found out is getting the right equipment for exams and things. Because I walked into an exam once and I forgot, um, a compass, that's it. And I didn't know whether or not they were going to be handing them out. Luckily in the end I didn't actually need a compass for that exam. But you never know, I may have needed it. So make sure you buy all the correct equipment, you know, compasses, protractors, everything. Make sure you have at least one of everything and if a teacher says in a class oh yeah everyone get your green pens or everyone get your compasses out and you don't have one and say well go and buy a compass do it go and buy it like the next day or that day so you know you have got one okay and also you need to make sure that you buy a clear pencil case obviously for exam reasons and uh, you have to have a clear pencil case rather than like a not clear one you can't take those in exams if not you just have to take everything in your pocket loosely and um, things might break. So just buy a clear pencil case. You can get them really cheap from like Poundland or WH Smith or somewhere. Just a clear pencil case, a zippy one. Um, honestly, like you can just get those thin ones. They're like 20p or something. So yeah, go and buy uh, some of those and you'll have everything ready for your exams. Something that I've seen happen with loads of people uh, during like my first years of GCSE, as you guys know, I did start my GCSEs a year earlier. So uh, I do have a three year GCSE course. So for me, going into 10 would actually be going into year 11 for you lot, um, because I have actually done a year of GCSEs. So it would look like as if I was going into year 11. However, I'm only going into year 10, if that makes sense. But something that um, I've realised and that people need to realise is that you just don't need to stress so early on. Like, you don't need to stress at all, really. You don't need to start doing really hard revision until year 11. And even when you're in year 11, you don't need to start doing a hard, hard revision to about January or February because your exams aren't until june sort of time may june so literally you just don't need to stress yourselves out because that will just not help you guys will get really like oh and you just you just 
will have a hard time of revising. Something that you guys need to do is keep track of all your work for later. So buy a folder or a binder at, and like like dividers as well and just keep all your work organised. So um, for year 9 and year 10 I'm going to be, well I've already used binders, I've got binders from my last year. Make sure you keep all your work in your binder so if your teacher gives out homework sheets or just revision sheets and things you put them all in your folder so when it comes to year 11 and revising and revision you just have everything there and you, you're not losing anything and you just have everything with you because if you lose things you will not you will not have it to revise and it just won't help you at all. Something that is a really big deal is if you do not understand something, go and ask a teacher or search it online or just ask someone in the year above who would know what the answer is. Because if you're in a lesson and you just don't understand what is going on, the teacher may never go over it again. Especially if it's a subject with lots and lots of content and things. Just basically, if you just don't understand anything, just go and ask because it will benefit you. Especially for exams, the, literally the teachers will not mind if you go and ask, oh, I don't understand this, can you help me out? They will not mind because that is their job, that is what they're paid to do. So go and ask them if like you're confused with anything and you just need help, just go and ask them. Some Something else that is really important is you need to try your best at paying attention in lessons. Yeah, I know that you're sometimes going to be tired and worn out and just, ugh, but you, try, you need to try and pay attention the best you can. You know, like, make notes in the lesson if you really want to because, honestly, if you do not pay attention, as I said earlier, they may never go over it again and you'll just miss out on that part of the topic and things. So make sure you pay attention to everything, like... Honestly, if you're feeling a bit ill, you've got a bit of a cough one day or a bit of a cold, still go in, still try and go in. And if it gets worse over the day, you can always go back home. But try to go in because if you miss that bit of information, you may never go over it again and you need that information. Something that I like to do as well, and I did it last year, was to actually try and revise really hard for like uh, mocks and like small little like topic tests if you see what I mean and the reason I did that was um so I could see what I do know and what I don't know and things that I need to revise for the future so like I know these tests aren't really a big deal and they won't really affect your grade but it will just help you for your revision purposes and things that you need to revise more and things you don't need to revise more and basically it will just help things with like my maps as well for all of that try and try out um every single of it well not every single revision technique but try and like try a variety, I can't say that, a variety of revision techniques just so you can find the correct one that works with you for every subject. You might have to do a variety of them for different subjects though, depending on the content and things, like sort of exam style questions. But try and um, try out a variety of um, techniques just so you have a good variety of things that you want to do. Can I say a variety anymore in this uh, video? Yes, so basically just try out loads and loads and loads of studying techniques. Something that I said earlier, stay organised, yep, yeah, folders, just try and keep organised really, you know, basically if you're not organised, just not going to get things done. That's all I have to say about that. And the last thing I want to say to you guys is don't revise all of the time, okay? You don't need to revise 24-7. You don't really need to revise hard in year 9. You don't really need to try and revise hard in year 10. Or if you start in year 10, you don't need to try and revise in year 10. Honestly, whether you start in a year early um, or not, you know, you just don't really need to revise as hard as year 11. Obviously, you still need to revise, guys, for tests and just for your own purpose, but you just don't need to revise as hard. You don't need to revise every night, um, because honestly, you're just, it's just not needed, okay? Please, please, please do revise in year 11 though, because it's a hard year, okay? I know that, and if you wanna do your best, you gotta revise hard, okay? Year 11, revise hard year, I say. My sister is going into year 11 this year, I'm going into year 10, um, so I'm gonna have my sister to tell me all about her year 11 and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna have to, you know, leave her to some peace during um, exam season. Well, I'm quite quiet anyway, I'll probably be in my own room revising for mocks because I'll have mocks at the same time. But yeah, so basically, just, you know, revise hard in year 11, not too hard in year 10 and that. And also, if you do have siblings going into year 11 or doing A-levels or in uni and the, you know, give them time to revise, okay? Because they are, they are going for a hard time, okay? Because mocks 
and exams are hard okay so if you're you're younger and you just don't understand just just leave them to some quiet like this quiet is nice quiet is nice to revise i've currently got the house to myself and it's quiet so i could do loads of revision but i don't need to because it's summer holidays okay so just Honestly, give them some space if you live with a family member doing exams and things like that. And that is basically everything I have to talk to you guys about GCCs today. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure to go and check all my social medias out and go and see who the uh, winner was and go, whoa, well done. Um, but yeah, if you are the winner and you're watching this now and you don't know, no, you do know, uh, well done. Um, I can't really say your name because I don't know who it is yet. It's still got two weeks for me. Um, but yeah, I will post your package um, the day after this video um, has gone out. So the day after the winner was revealed, um, I will post your package out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I hope to see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye.